I am welcoming you all once again to this channel. So in today's session, I will show you how to utilize Van der Waal correction in our calculation. So uh, sometimes we have some certain kind of structure where the where the Van der Waal correction is uh, necessary. So we have to include that correction factor. So how to include all these factor and how the uh, results will come out after the Van der Waal correction? All that thing we will see in today's session. So uh, let's start the session without making any delay. So here I have taken one this B2CO2 kind of structure and I have done all this calculation as I have shown like starting from the SCF then lattice parameter relaxation and here I have plotted this lattice parameters like this and you can check that this is my optimal lattice A value like the lattice parameter value that I have got for this particular uh, structure okay so next here i am going to open the postcard file to show that which parameter like which structure i have taken for the calculation so here i am opening the vesta software and that input file i have opened so this is how the postcard file looks like like the now we are visualizing that postcard file so these are the vanadium atoms these are carbons and these are the oxygens and next to it i will show you the incar file so here I am opening the in car. So you can check here that the first uh, like the first part of the tags are available for the normal like the standard uh, parameters which we need to optimize any structure. And the next uh, next year this BDW section is suggesting that LBDW is equal to true and IBDW is equal to 11. So what are these we will see here and we will directly go to our bas wiki to check that uh, what are these so uh, here I will search for LBDW okay IVDW and uh, okay before this LBDW we can select okay it's fine so lbdw is here you can check that lbdw is equal to true which defined that ibdw is automatically set to one that means initially this value has to be true so that it will uh, it will get to know that they are doing some van der Waal kind of correction things or something so this lbdw is for that which is equal to true in this case if we are including van der Waal correction into our system and next year here you can see that there are various kinds of number for IBDW value what are what is this IBDW specifies a van der Waal dispersion term in the atom of the atom pair wise of many body type when there are uh, like atoms with um, like molecules or structure with more than one atom or something and where they are actually interacting through van der Waal interaction then we have to include this uh, uh, van der Waal correction and here are uh, different different numbers are given so the all these numbers have certain meaning so you can read it from here so in our purpose we have taken this IBDW 11 that is the pair wise type of van der Waal and here this will perform this dft d3 method of grimy uh, with zero damping function and all so uh, how to set this so for to set all these you have to read some paper so here i am showing you one paper which i use uh, like which i read and this is this rsc nanoscale paper and here in the method methodology section if you will check that they have mentioned that this uh, magazines were considered by adopting this dft d3 method and here is the uh, citation for that if you will click over here and you will redirect it to the paper which is also cited by this method like this D dft d3 this you know, with grimy with uh, method of grimy with zero damping function and all so this way you can see and you can also match the citation with the papers reference so uh, so that you can get your actual method by which you can perform because here you can see that dft d3 and d3 method is also when ibdw equal to 12 where the damping function is uh, defined by becke and junction so you have to see that which method you want and it's uh, uh, it's all up to you and about your system okay so these these two are the mainly the tags which we really need to provide the van der Waal correction now let's go 
and here I have already submitted this simulation so the output files I am having here so I can show you the outcar file of it so uh, here if I will search VDW okay I am searching VDW here or Vanderwall correction something why it's not coming it's not coming here but uh, okay if you can check over here that uh, something will come out uh, yeah here we can check uh, like it will show us all the energies like how these energies are coming and uh, what are the contribution from Vanderwall and all everything it will show us so let me check it once yeah so i have got it here you see that so if i will go to first this dft d3 method then you will be very very uh, carefully observe that what are the terms which are printed over here like uh, which are written over here you can see that after completion of a uh, complete uh, nsw like the complete ionic relaxation we are getting these numbers so these are the contribution from the e6 term and the e8 term so you see that these are uh, these are also in the ev unit that means these are also the energy contributed part and uh, if you will see here that you can check that this e dispersion is defined as uh, defined by using this function and this term is corresponding to e6 and this term is corresponding to e8 so as you can see over here that this e6 and this e8 these are also coming out uh, as as much and all these energies will get added up and finally we will get our free energy after uh, after that particular ionic step uh, uh, as this much so this way you can find after each ionic step you will have this kind of energies which will be uh, yeah uh, here is after third one this this energy is printed so this way you can check and at the end you can have your uh, like entire result so this way you can go forward okay so i am not going to so okay it's fine so here this is our final energy total and uh, here also i want to show you the osg car file so there it will be uh, like you see here that here in each ionic step we are having our energy that uh, each in each electronic step we are having the energy is minus 0 0.43 that means this is nothing but 43.964 because here we are having e to the power plus 2 factor like 10 to the power 2 factor so this will be multiplied and we will get 43 point something 96 but here in the final free energy we are getting the energy value as 44.66 that means the extra energy coming like the energy difference between this 43 to 44 point something is coming due to the Vanderwall correction factor that is mainly for this e6 and e e8 part so all these ionic and relaxation session steps if you will check uh, like carefully that uh, these energies there are certain difference in between energy that means the, the extra part is coming due to the van der waals corrected uh, part so this way you can have your uh, uh, results okay now what i will show you next that where is that paper yeah in this paper if you will go and see that here they have also calculated the van der Waal contribution and this is the non van der Waal contribution and then uh, actually they have plotted here that how much is the van der Waal ratio 
that is affecting like that is present in that structure in that particular uh, compound or molecule whatever you are simulating then in this manner we can calculate the van der Waal ratio so here is the plot for that you see this is the van der Waal ratio they have contributed along dif uh, like with different different molecules they have uh, added as a uh, like adsorbed species so uh, here this van der Waal energy you will get simply by setting the same uh, in, in inputs and if you want to want to simulate non van der Waal species then how you have to go for it then you have to simply go and open your incar file and come to here and just do the commented out just commented out this two tags and save the file and with the same postcard and k points you can run the simulation and whatever the energy you will get that energy will correspond to the energy of this non van der Waal term and then if you are already having this e van der Waal and you you will get this non van der Waal energy then you can find your van der Waals like van der Waals ratio so this way we have to go forward and we can calculate our van der Waal and non van der Waal uh, interaction and to find the ratio of that van der Waal per, like contribution so this way you can go for it and this was just a sample example i have shown and uh, yeah this much for today's session and thank you all